In today's quick tip, we're going to be looking at using a spreadsheet for calculating the load that we'll be placing on our media server, uh, depending on what we have going on and what the show requires. I'm going to be using Google Sheets because it's going to be easy at the end of this session to be able to share that link with you. However, you can use Excel or uh, Numbers, anything that gives you that kind of uh, spreadsheet-like functionality. So let's dive in. So here we have a empty spreadsheet. First column, I'm just going to list the screens that we have in our project. So we'll give that, that heading a title. Um, let's give let's have six six screens. And then we need to give the the screen some dimensions. So if I do width in meters and then height in meters. Uh, for this example, these are totally arbitrary, but obviously when you're setting up your project, it, you will need to um, take this data from the CAD that, uh, that belongs to your show. I'm going to set these 25 by... Oh, something like that. It doesn't really matter. Let's make them quite different though. Have a look. Just make one sixteen by nine, and then repeat that one, and do okay. Great. So now we need to work out. Um, what our pixels are going to be for each of these screens. If these are LED screens, then this is going to be governed by the pixel pitch of the LED. If it's projection, then um, we, can, we can kind of make that call for ourselves. So I'm just going to set up a pixels width and pixels. So let's make this, we'll do a unified pixel pitch um, of five millimeters, which is, is pretty good for, for something like this. So in order to calculate that, we need to convert uh, our measurements into millimeters, and then we need to divide them by five. So I'm gonna say equals times a thousand to get um, that in millimeters and then divide by five which is our pixel pitch. So a 25 meter screen is going to be 5,000 pixels wide which sounds about right. So now we can copy that formula down. So we should be able to copy that across, that makes sense, and then copy that down. Perfect. So in order to work out load calculation, we need to work out how many how many pixels the media server is going to be calculating per frame. So our next column, we're going to make that pixels per frame. Double click there. So in this one, we're going to take uh, our width value and our height value, and we're going to multiply them together. And that will give the total number of pixels per frame that this screen is going to going to take. That's the load that this is the this is the load in pixels per frame that it's going to place our server under. So I'm going to copy those down again. So that's that's our, our our pixel per frame for each one of these screens. 
Now, when working out the load calculation, we need to, need to measure this against the capacity that we have in our server. So there's a few extra numbers that we need to know that will help us work this out. Most media servers um, measure their capacity in the number of HD frames that they can play concurrently. So it's useful for us to know what a HD frame is. So let's just label this HD frame. So a H HD is 1920 by 1080 in pixels. And if we multiply those together, uh, 1080. So this number here is the number of pixels that get calculated every frame that plays when the when the size is HD, so um, at 1920 by 1080. So we can start to compare these numbers, which is the number of pixels per frame that get calculated when these screens are being used, against the number of HD frames. So I'm going to say... Um, this is fraction of HD frame. So what we do here, pixels per frame, we take this number, we divide it by this, which is our HD frame. So whenever we're playing a 5000 by 800 pixel frame, that is the equivalent of playing 1.92 or 1.93 if we round up uh, HD frames. So we can copy that down and why is that broken? Is that move that down? Yeah. So these all need to be B14. So now we've worked out how many pixels per frame each of our, our project screens is going to take up. We've also worked out what fraction or multi multiplier of a HD frame that's going to use. Now we need to know the uh, resources available to us in our media server. Because it's probably one of my most used servers, I'm going to uh, measure this against a disguise. 4x4. Four four. So uh, we know from the uh, manufacturing specs of a disguise 4x4 four four that uh, this machine is capable of playing um, four lots of 4K or 16 HD frames back at any one given time. So we can work out what the maximum headroom that we have in our 4x4 four by, four by multiplying this number by the number of HD frames the server can play it. So that would be equals HD frames times 16, because that's, that's what we know our, our disguise 4x4 is capable of. So now, as well as doing our fraction of HD frame, we can do fraction of 4x4. So this, at this point, is our load calculation. So if I do uh, pixels per frame, make this uh, formula, pixels per frame divided by, so a 5000 by 800 pixel screen or video would be um, what 1 0.12 of a disguised 4x4. So we could play about nine of these before we reach the limit of the 4x4. We'll go through and we're just going to pull that down. Uh, same problem as before. There we go, perfect. So if we Total load. If we sum all these together, so it equals sum. Oh, let's make that to H7.
Ah, I see. That, so this number didn't look right to me, and I've realised we're still calculating... I've referenced the wrong number here. So I was referencing that against the HD frame rather than a full media server. So let's just update those. So now each one of those is being divided by the total capacity in our 4x4. That means when we sum all those together, we can see that this set of six screens is going to place is going to be about 0.7 of a 4x4. So we are under capacity and we should be able to do this with one machine. So that's good. Thing is, however, we need to look at the number of outputs available to us. So for example, with four VFC cards, we have um, basically a single single link output, so HD outputs that we can uh, divide these between. So that, for example, five thousand. Oh, equals five thousand divided by nineteen twenty. Oh, let's let's make this its own column. Uh, let's call it number of HD outputs. So this number equals pixels in the width divided by nineteen twenty. So what, what we've done here is here we have uh, divided our, our width by 1920 to basically check if we can fit within a HD frame. So for example, a 5000 pixel image is going to be um, 2.6 1920s wide or HD outputs wide. So whilst I would still go back through and work out all my pixel maps to decide how to fit all these together sensibly on an output, this just gives me, in numbers, uh, quite a quick check to see how many outputs this would need. So let's call that 13 outputs. So this, this whole project can exist inside of one disguise 4x4 because this number is smaller than 16 and this number is smaller than 1. So that's looking at our total loads and that's looking at our total outputs. So uh, one last thing to look at. Uh, with codecs, it's often good to make sure that your uh, width and height are divisible by eight. It's, um, it helps when it uh, comes to content encoding. So we do a new column, which is width divide Check. I'm going to do a, a height divide a check. So we'll go back to our pixel numbers here. This is a little bit more, a bit more of a complicated formula, so I'm just reading it off my spare screen because it's not right at the front of my brain. So if I say if we're going to perform a modulus calculation here, if our width number modulo 8 equals 0, we'll make that a pass. Or file. So 
Just check my bracket, so I've got one, two coming in. Cool. Okay. So uh, what we're going for here is uh, if this number is divisible by 8, it will say pass. And if it is, let's just try and make this not divisible by 8. So um, it'll say fail like that. So let's just uh, control Z to undo that. Now, I quite like setting this up with a bit of conditional formatting. So I'm going to say if text contains pass, we'll make it green. If text contains the word fail, we'll make it red. So we'll just check that that's working by resetting this number again. So there we go. Now I should be able to copy this formula down and copy it across. So all, all of our screens have passed the divisible by 8 check. Let's just make those type headings. Except for the width of our screen 6. So sometimes for the sake of a very small number it's worth uh, modifying this. Now if this was a production I'd feed back to, uh, to production to, to let them know that it would be beneficial to the video system to uh, modify the, the shape or size of these screens. Um, to be honest we could still still render these numbers and then just um, trim it back in. Uh, that would all be done with the when we get to the pixel map phase. So hopefully this has been helpful. I'm going to set the sharing of this. Uh, let's see. Uh, anyone with a link? I'll be putting the link to this in the, the comments for this video. So if you'd like to use this, or you'd like to copy this, um, or just check out some of the formula here, um, you, you can do so. Uh, I hope that this has been useful, and please let me know if you've got any other quick tips that you'd like me to um, tackle. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.